Oh, bonjour, and welcome to another exciting edition of Coffee with Stephen. So this week's blog is entitled Fraternity. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a rift on the French phrase of liberty, egalitary, fraternity. Um, and it's specifically related to some you know, arguably juvenile behavior on the part of our governor haircut. Um, many of you might remember from a couple of weeks ago, uh, our governor, the sort of personification of Eddie Haskell, decided to go to Florida and film a couple of commercials. In those commercials, standing in front of a palm tree outside of Miami, he encouraged the residents of Florida to consider moving to California. California evidently is a bastion of freedom and clean living. Uh, this was met with general derision from just about everyone. And what was particularly amusing is that the vast majority of the people now apparently that are living in Florida are expats from California, people that have effectively voted with their feet. It's also telling that you don't see governors from states like Texas or Florida or South Dakota coming to California and effectively making recruitment videos for their state. Now, to be true, that has happened before in the past, but over the last number of years, those types of commercials just really weren't necessary. People were, in fact, just simply moving. So it's somewhat of an oddity that Governor Haircut would go to Florida, essentially trying to extol the people of Florida to shake off their yoke of authoritarianism and move to this libertarian paradise that is California. It, it's, it's obviously incongruous with the reality that we're currently experiencing. But um, I did think it would be kind of interesting if some of those other governors that I just mentioned, say DeSantis or Governor Abbott or Kristi Noem, were to come to California, maybe as a, maybe as a group, and do a public service announcement, go over to the Newport Beach Pier and uh, make a commercial for those of us living in California telling us not to move to their jurisdictions, to essentially saying, look, we're being inundated by you Californians. You really need to stay put. Besides, it is critically important that we maintain some type of museum to socialism. We've already got one in New York. We should keep one on the left coast as well. By having this, we can sort of look at a, uh, a socialist utopia and how miserable it is and what's actually produced, and thereby serving as a reminder to the rest of the country not to go down this darkened path. In any event, I do encourage you to read the blog. It's available on Wednesday at ArtemisHQ.com. And as always, I want you to train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.